Okay, everybody, thank you and welcome to our afternoon of plenary sessions beginning. And we are also uh, recording this as well as broadcasting live. So our, our luncheon presentation, and please continue, feel free to eat at the same time, is Akiko Yoshida. She is from Tokyo, Japan. She came just for this weekend. This is her first time to the United States, so welcome, Akiko. Akiko works with Friends of the Earth. Japan as nuclear and energy campaigner. Her files include Fukushima evacuation and compensation and Japan's nuclear phase out and energy shift. Akiko will speak to us for about 20 minutes then show us some video and we'll end with some Q&A from the, from the floor. Welcome Akiko. Thank you very much for inviting me today to this significant and historical, very important day. This is uh, for me the first time to come to US. Um, yesterday I had a very nice day and showed around the Lake Michigan and Henry Moore's uh, sculp sculpture. Today I'm very happy to share, to share you about the situation in uh, Japan, especially about the situation in Fukushima. I'm now working for FOE Jap Friends of the Earth Japan for six years and uh, for nuclear and energy. After the disaster, we have decided to, uh, uh, to concentrate on the Tema, Fukushima, and nuclear energy. This is the map of the radiation contamination you may have uh, seen many times. The radioactive plume has first went to, uh, to the direction northwest and then uh, down to the, uh, to the south. This is the uh, two big cities in Fukushima, Fukushima City and Koriyama. And these th cities are highly contaminated. And this is the uh, village Itate, which is evacuated in, the, uh, in June last year. This is the picture of September last year. And uh, the rice fields are not anymore cultivated. The evacuees from Fukushima are still now 116,000. Uh, uh, within Fukushima and also to other prefectures. I first int introduce you about the protest against the 20 millisievert uh, threshold for the school children. On uh, 19th April uh, last year, uh, 2012, next, the Ministry for, uh, of Education has announced a measurement of the maximum radiation dose in the school, building, and yard, 20 millisievert per year. It is about, it was about 3,8 microsievert per hour. But this, uh, this standard, this radiation dose standard was only for a school, uh, within the school and in the school yard. It, that, it didn't include the inner contamination and con, um, exposure in their house. These 20 uh, millisievert for school children. It was a um, re really high rate of uh, contamina uh, exposure. So uh, many, uh, many parents and citizens in Tokyo and Fukushima were uh, very, uh, very much angry about this, uh, this announcement of the uh, mixed and made a, a big protestant against that. This is the picture on the 
23rd of May last year, um, around 600 parents and citizens from Tokyo and Fukushima has surrounded the next building and made protest. They said, um, <laughs> save children from, uh, from save children in Fukushima, uh, please roll back this 20 millisievert standard for children. We also have, um, have, we also have collected uh, signatures from all over the world. Um, about 50, 000, more than 50,000 people have signed this signature. And then uh, we also have, um, we also talked to the ministry and, uh, and the diet members. And on the 27th May, next, uh, next informed to roll the this back and to aim one millisievert per year, uh, this, uh, school, uh, this standard for school children. But of course, many pro problems still rem remain. For example, this was only the target and it is not, um, uh, it is not yet uh, fulf uh, fulfilled. About 20 millisievert per year, uh, this standard, um, uh, I have to share some information. In, in Japan and uh, in many countries in Europe or also in US, the maximum radi radiation exposure dose for ordinary citizens are, is one millisievert per year. And also, um, in, and even for the for the nuclear workers, 5,2 millisievert. So from these uh, standards, you can easily uh, see that 20 millisievert is easily very high standard is. And also for, uh, especially for the for the children, it is extremely high standard. Now we have to remind about the evacuation zone in Chernobyl. Even in Chernobyl, the, evac uh, the evacuation zone was settled with the five millisievert standard, the zone of resettlement. And, uh, in Chernobyl, they had the zone of the zone with right of resettlement, with one millisiever per year. But how about it in Japan? In Japan, um, we had first these 20 kilometers and 30 kilometers radius from the Fukushima Daiichi as evacuation zone. Uh, in March, and after that, because the radiation plume uh, went to the northwest, they set the, this planned derivative evacuation area in April, and then settled these specific eva evacuation points in June. And for these two areas, derivative evacuation areas and a special e evacuation point for the settlement of these areas were the 20 millisievert standard. So this area was settled uh, to, the, to, to the points. Uh, the cumulative radiation dose was exceed uh, 20 millisievert year. And other areas were not settled as evacuation zone. Uh, for the people in these evacuation areas, the people in, in these evacuation areas has uh, got the compensation, but outside of the area, they got nothing. And this is the evacuation zone after April this year, 20, uh, 2012. The evacuation area is obviously 
smaller, smaller. And in some cities, like in this green area, the residents are start to coming back, also children. And to this, um, to uh, the twenty millisievert standard is still existing now. And this is the compensation scheme for the people in Fukushima. Uh, about the compensa compensation, the government has discussed in the uh, next uh, Committee for Nuclear Damage Compensation. And uh, they had announced the midterm report in August last year. And at that time, the compensation was also lim uh, only limited within this yellow uh, area, the official evacuation zone. And the amount was so, uh, for, for, for official evacuation zone, uh, there were about, about uh, 100,000 100, people in this yellow area. And these people have uh, received 100,000 yen, about $1,250, a month. But uh, in August, the other people ha received nothing. So uh, many people, many citizens in Fukushima, affected people, and also uh, the citizens of all Japan, and also uh, worldwide, was uh, strongly against this compensation scheme. And then uh, at last, in December, the compensation area was expanded to these blue areas. But the people in blue areas has contained only 80,000 yen per month, uh, not per month, but for a year, for all, only once for adult, and 400,000 yen for children. There were many, ch many families, especially women and children, evacuated on their own outside of the evacuation, official evacuation zone. This is the current evacuation uh, and compensation scheme. This is 20 millisievert per year uh, standard, and the people above this threshold, above this standard, uh, is only uh, compensated. And this area, uh, the, in the blue area in the pre previous slide, has got not much but a little bit compensation and nothing for the others. For example, this blue area is uh, only limited uh, within Fukushima. And there, there are also many hot spots, uh, contaminated areas in neighboring prefectures like in Guma or uh, Tochigi or in Miyagi. So um, there is still many problems. So what we uh, NGOs and citizens and especially the citizens in Fukushima urge to the government is to enlarge this compensation scheme to right to evacuation. These are the vo voices we have collected from the affected people who evacuated on their own. We, we have delivered these voices to the, com uh, to the nuclear compensation deputies in September last year. Radiation exposure is high, more than one microsievert per hour in my house. I'm worried about whether I should make my children live in such environment. Why do we need to be exposed to radiation every day? It was obviously a political decision that the government increased the criteria to 20 millisievert. That's why I made a decision by myself. My husband says, we will keep living here because of our livelihoods, 
loan for our own house and our business. I didn't give, my, give birth to my baby to make him or her ill. The people, many people uh, have evacuated, but many people have also remained in Fukushima because of financial reason or because of their work. And because of that, uh, they hadn't adequate compensation. So we had many times meeting with the government and the diet members to talk with this problem and to change and to enlarge this uh, compensation scheme and the evacuation policy. Our, our appeals are these, repeal of the training receiver standard, stricter limit for children and pregnant women as in the city of Minamisoma. The, the national standard was 20 millisiever, but some cities like Minamisoma has original standard for children and uh, pregnant women that is a uh, lower standard than the norm, uh, other adults. And we also urge this uh, s uh, s such standard also to the Fukushima city which, which was highly contaminated, but the, but the Fukushima city and the prefecture of Fukushima has denied this. What they, what they have always repeated was uh, they do decontamination and they have 20 millisievert standard. Position of Fukushima city was also so they follow the position of the government and they, con uh, they were concerning about the damage by rumors. This was the information meeting in, uh, in Fukushima city. The government has informed that they don't set any evacuation point, special evacuation point in the city of Fukushima. So the evacuation on their own was called voluntary evacuation. And the, this picture was uh, were in July and August uh, against the mid-term report of the compensation committee. We also have handed the uh, surveys and the voices of the affected people to TEPCO. Uh, for compensation, but TEPCO said that uh, they only follow the, uh, the compensation scheme of the government. And this is the, the action in front of the next uh, building, Ministry of, the, of the Educa Education. So this is the Fukushima Prefecture and the Fukushima city is uh, in the north of Fukushima. And uh, as I showed f for the first, the middle of Fukushima was highly contaminated outside of the, of the evacuation zone. Hot spots were especially in the east side of the Fukushima city. But this is the uh, prefecture office and uh, this Watari district is a ve very big residential area so the government have, uh, has not settled this Fukushima city as evacuation zone or point because uh, they also have concern about the damage of rumor. But there are uh, so many households, uh, more than 600, and there are also many children Many children were remaining in the uh, contaminated area more than one year. The contamination in that Watari district in the east side of the Fukushima was more than three microsievert per hour. This was the status in uh, Ju June, July last year. This is the uh, result of autumn uh, auto 
automatic survey of the government. So um, there were many hot spots detected in these areas. And this is the contamination survey in October this year. The, the hot spots still remaining in this area and also in other cities in Fukushima. And the hot spots is moving from here to another place, but still remain there. The government said that uh, they do decontamination, but the effect of decontamination is very limited, limited because um, there are mountain here, mountain area, and this is uh, the Itate village, highly contaminated. And with the rain or with the wind, the uh, radio radioactive materials comes always into the city. And this is the decontamination. Decontamination plan is for two years, and it is still ongoing. And that removed soil is uh, stored in their backyard of the residents, like this. And there are no place to remove these soils. So the way of decontamination is uh, so like this, remove the soil or wash the houses with high pressure water. So um, we have urged the government to enlarge the evacuation zone first and uh, the, for the adequate compensation, but it was <coughs> not implemented yet. And then we urged the government for the short-term ref refreshment for the children. But it has also uh, denied by the government and by the city or by the prefecture. So that's why we have started this voluntary project, Poka Poka project for Fukushima children. Poka Poka, uh, <coughs> this means uh, warm or hot warming, like in uh, hot springs. There is a hot spring in, within the Fukushima city in the west side. This is the Fukushima uh, station and this is Watari district in the east side and this is uh, Tsuchi hot spring in the uh, west side. Um, in this area in west side it is less contaminated. The radiation dose there is uh, 0 0,1 to 0 0,2 microsievert per hour. So a little bit um, almost the same as in Tokyo or in Saitama. So we have studied this project, Poka Poka, from, uh, from January this year. This uh, to support the children and family from this area to these hot springs for the weekends or so two or three days for ref re refreshment. We provide the stay at the onsen hotels and provided the children to play uh, outside uh, of the buildings. And these are vegetables from uh, east side, e uh, west side of Japan from not contaminated areas. So the, these vegetables and rices are donated from all of the, over J Japan. Um, children and family has, uh, could have relaxed time at, this, uh, at, at the hot springs only for a short time, but they, had, they could have released themselves. 
this project, we do, <coughs> we, we continue this project uh, still now on, and we are planning to do that uh, until March next, ne next year to provide the children and family uh, relaxed time. So you may, you may heard about this thyroid uh, ex examination inspection uh, through the uh, through news. Thyroid examination was undertaken in the Fukush in the prefecture of Fukushima, but this is only for children, limited to children. That is also the problem. But um, through this examination, more, more, uh, more than 30% of the children, examined children, uh, detected this small tobacco or pustle. But for this, um, for this 30 or 40% of the children in A class, they cannot uh, they are not examined, the, uh, the detailed examine. Detailed examination is two years after this examination. And they said that it is no problem. It is only small, say, the uh, prefecture and the government. But as you know, by one uh, girl, 16 years girl, the thyroid cancer was also found through this inspection. So now many parents and many mothers are still now considering about moving out from the Fukushima prefecture. But for that, the compensation is not enough, still not enough. But there is uh, one progress in this year, in June. Uh, uh, a new law was enacted, a uh, nuclear accident child victims law. This was sub submitted by the diet, uh, diet members and uh, in, co in cooperation with the citizens and affected people from Fukushima. Uh, this law, this new law for the children and the uh, Fukushima victims um, ensure the people, uh, in, uh, ensure the residents and also for the evacuees the right um, to live, to, to live healthy, uh, then they ensure food safety at home and at school, health examination and medical fee uh, remissions. And for the evacuees, job support, accommodation support, and to both, study support for the children and support for children who live apart from their parents, or from their family. But, uh, but this law is, um, uh, not, uh, not impl implemented yet, and this is uh, only the framework. The detailed, uh, <coughs> the detail is uh, now to be uh, de to be determined, and uh, for that process, uh, decision making process should be uh, involved. Uh, should be the victim, uh, the aff affected people from Fukushima involved. Uh, this uh, detail, details for this law should discussed with the participation of the uh, of the people from Fukushima. That is what we, with the people from Fukushima, appealing to the government. Now uh, I'd like to show you a video, a 10 minutes video. This is the 
事故以降市内のホットスポットとして高い放射線量を計測してきました今年2月から地域にある住宅6600戸の除染が始まっていますが3ヶ月間で終了したのはわずか30個です 9.9 ですね。やっぱり増したい。マイクロシーバーカー。下げるってこと？そうなんです。もう下水はみんな高いんです。あとあそこも高いんです。下水。まあ四人いるけど、わ、全然出てはいないんです。ああ。これからちょっと自転車積んで放射の低いところに。だから土日毎週。They go to another place for the weekend to have a refreshment. だから子供さんとこだなんかは心配だよね。うちの孫なんて目にクマ出たよ。これはまた考えはまた別になってくると思うんですよ。我々も。This is the grandmother. He has he's gone to the prefecture. 去年の秋、バタリ小学校の学校で特定避難監視施設の指定に関する住民説明会が行われました。しかし、This was the information meeting in the Fukushima city about the settlement of the evacuation point. 政府は指定を見送ったのです。This is the man of the government. She is explaining about yes, the radiation loss in Fukushima is lower than other places. Maybe you have you have seen about the radiation exposure, but under 100 millisievert is no problem for the health. In Minamisoma, there is a special special evacuation standard for children and pregnant women. Two microsievert per hour. This is the man from the Fukushima city. The evacuation point is settled by the government, not by the city. So we are not responsible for that. The information meeting was for five hours. This is the Minami Soma city, which has the standard for children. Once more in Watari district in Fukushima. More than two microsievert was detected by the government research. It will be settled as evacuation point in Minami Soma standard. He has a small child, one year daughter. Around the window, the radiation was higher than here, so the baby sleeps here. In front of the house, she hasn't been in their backyard yet. While the decontamination, I hope to be evacuated. This is the meeting with the government. We do the decontamination. My one-year daughter is exposed on this time. The life of the children is really precious, so please think about that. Please do the survey once more. Our choice is only to remain here. There's more than 30, 30 microsievert per year. So we cannot expect the government anymore. We have to start ourselves. So we have started this Poka Poka project with several citizens groups. He lives in the Watari district with his children. He cannot go because of his work. 
until the decontamination is completed, we would like to evacuate the children. So this is uh, the hotel at the Tsuchiyu Hot Spring. More than 2,000 people have participated to this project. This project is carried out with the donation. Thank you very much. Two weeks later, from 15th to 17th December, uh, IAEA uh, is hold a, me uh, hold a meeting in Fukushima in Koreyama to discuss about uh, decontamination or uh, the nuclear energy in the future. So we are now planning a big conference, uh, counter conference to this big conference in Tokyo and uh, uh, counter actions in Koreyama. And I'm, all, I'm going to be there with the people in Fukushima. After the disaster, there, uh, there, are, much, uh, there are many sad and problematic things and uh, they are still going on. But uh, sometimes we have something uh, happy to uh, work with uh, to work with the people in Fukushima and Tokyo and around together so i'm also happy to meet with you here thank you very much thank you for coming it was really something. Uh, we're very impressed with your work. And I would like to know, this movie is, is totally in Japanese, and it, would, did you make this movie to show it in other parts of Japan to receive support for this? Yes. Mm -hmm. I made this, uh, this uh, September, and uh, you can show this on our website, FOE Japan. But um, <laughs> it's a pity we still not... Uh, we now have no English subtitle. Can you talk a little about the incineration of the rubble that's going on throughout the country? Uh, you know, incineration. Um, incineration and burning of the Fukushima, well, it's the, the tsunami rubble mm. is contaminated. And I understand mm. that it's going to incinerators all around Japan, regular garbage incinerators and then the ash is being dumped in the bay and then I heard that the idea was uh, it would spread the spread the suffer spread the whatever it is around and then they would um, share share the suffering I guess instead of keep it in one place Ex experts recommend us not to spread and not to burn the uh, incineration but the government do that the threshold for that is uh, 8,000 kilo becquerel 8,000 becquerel per kilogram it is very high um, but the uh, burning of uh, is already begun in some prefectures of course the residents are uh, strongly against that but uh, they cannot stop it. They could not stop it. We, we would like to help with the people that are doing that. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Uh, thanks again for coming. Um, I was just wondering what the situation is in Tokyo yes. um, with radiation and if there's anything in the water. Um. Uh, the ra radiation level um, is now um, direct after the, uh, the uh, after the disaster uh, 0 0.8 to 0, uh, one, 0 0.1 microsievert per hour, but uh, in Tokyo or neighboring areas there are also some hot spots. Do you know how high the radiation is in the hot spots? Hot spots in hot spots uh, 0 0.2 or 3 microsieverts. But in Fukushima, uh, still now 0 0.8 to 1 microsievert. Mm. 
Can you talk about the demonstrations in Tokyo? Are they continuing and are they increasing? And is the government um, doing anything to stop them? Or? The uh, a big demonstration was in September last year. There was um, more than 60,000 uh, people on the street. But uh, from this April, the protest against uh, a nuclear restart has begun in front of the prime, min prime minister's house. And the number of the people are uh, bigger and bigger. And in, uh, September, uh, in July, the number was estimated to 200,000 around, uh, you know, around the prime minister's house. It was really big, I, you know, I, I should say. And there was also a big demonstration in uh, July. Uh, there were 170,000 people on the street. So the demonstration in Japan, especially in Tokyo, is uh, growing. And the demonstration is uh, still now continuing. Um, I read where uh, Dr. Emoto came in to f the Fukushima prefecture and was talking about uh, planting hemp to try to decontaminate some of the land. And also I know that um, Paul Stamets, the mushroom guy, has been over to Fukushima and talking about decontamination with mushrooms, you know, fungi. So can you talk about any of those kind of projects that might be going on? Thank you. Um, you know, de decontamination projects, yes. utilizing uh, bio, you know, biology, bioremediation, algae, hemp, um, and uh, mushrooms? Mm -hmm. Mushrooms are uh, still now contaminated. And it, it sometimes it exceeds the level, uh, the standard of 100, 100 decibel per kilogram. But I don't know about that. There are, there are many voluntary decontamination projects but uh, they are not officially uh, regarded, officially uh, implemented. Hi, thank you for coming. Uh, you, you mentioned the, what was the name of the law that was passed that you mentioned concerning uh, children's compensation? The name of the law that was passed? Law. Uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. When does it come into effect? Uh, Ju June 20, uh, June this year. Okay. Now you mentioned uh, the comp uh, what you call the compensation scheme on the uh, part of the government. Is that is there a formal insurance system in place? And really, what I'm asking is, was the compensation scheme and the evacuation plan um, did they come in fru into fruition before the accident or afterwards? Oh, well, my, 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 well, do, do I need to explain? In this country, we have what's called the Price-Anderson Act, which gives uh, radiation victims a uh, very small uh, compensation in, in the event of a nuclear power accident. But the law was, the point was the law was passed before any nuclear reactors were built in this country. In, in, in this case, it sounds like the, and likewise, there's been a lot of evacuation planning in the event of an accident. In this, in this case, it sounds like the compensation scheme and the evacuation planning happened only after the accident as opposed to before the accident. Do, do you understand the question? Um, so the evacuation and uh, compensation uh, scheme was not settled before the accident. The, the accident uh, will not happen, said the government, before the accident. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. Uh, can you address the impact on agriculture and commerce? Uh, one of the things that I've been looking into, certainly here in Illinois, we have more reactors than any state, but we're a state that relies heavily on agriculture and our ability to sell our product. Uh, after Fukushima, I started making phone calls to some of the companies that we buy tea from, looking at the boxes and trying to figure out where do these leaves come from. 
and I called two companies. One was Celestial Seasonings, who said immediately after the tsunami they stopped taking product from Japan. When I called Tazo Tea, they said that they continued to take product from Japan and that they follow EPA and FDA guidelines, which I told her cannot protect us from our own food sources, let alone foreign. But can you address agriculture? Uh, impacts on agriculture. Yes. Um, so last year, uh, in, uh, in rises in the prefecture of Fukushima, radi um, radioactive materials has uh, been detected. Um, in some cases, more than 500, uh, 500 becquerel uh, kilo per kilogram, more than that, uh, ec that a provisional standard after the disaster. So the contamination uh, is still going on. Uh, the government has uh, uh, down the standard f uh, to 100 becquerel kilogram. Um, and uh, 20, 20 becquerel for the uh, school meal for children. But uh, under 20 becquerel uh, that people don't know, and the, um, uh, Fukushima, the children in Fukushima, uh, the school, school meal in Fukushima is served by the local products. So uh, it is still some product, uh, uh, agricultural products which is uh, prohi prohibited to say, regulated. Arigato gozaimashita, Antoni. Um, <clears throat> we've heard a lot of numbers. We've seen pictures of people. <clears throat> Beyond that, there is all the emotions all the feelings people have because they've lost their lives and their livelihood and their home. Um, <clears throat> I have a friend who is a skilled group um, process uh, community development person. He is working half, he's an American, but he's working half time in Japan. And he started with young people from the shelters in Fukushima <clears throat> and tr brought them together to share th their feelings but to use those feelings to go forward. Uh, we'll be doing a little bit of that here in our Active Hope workshop tomorrow. <clears throat> he is now working throughout the country with groups uh, imagining the future for Japan that they really want. Would Friends of the Earth Japan like to know of this person and his work and maybe connect together? Yes. Would, yes. Very willing to. Okay. So would I ask him to contact you? Yes. Okay. Talk to you later. Yeah. Hi, I'm John Miller. Uh, like others, I thank you for coming. I feel a deep... Uh, solidarity with you and your situation. Uh, I'm wondering if there is evidence of uh, people's bodies or minds not reacting well to what's basically a situation where they are out of control and have very few options. Uh, is the divorce rate going up? Is the illness rate uh, rising? Is the heart attack rate rising? What a what effects does this make on people who have to live day after day uh, in a situation they consider dangerous? Um, there are many situations, I guess. Um, yes. Um, many uh, voluntary evacuated people um, have evacuated uh, the mothers and children in many cases, because the father, the fathers has have work in Fukushima. In such cases, um, the father has to go um, uh, has to go far away to sh uh, see their family, and it costs also much. The 
so it is a very big problem. And in some cases, uh, the family has decided to move together. And many people we know has already uh, went out from Fukushima. But there are also many people still remaining in Fukushima. There are two types. Um, some people uh, cannot, um, cannot go because of work or financial reason. Some people, uh, some people think that they are safe because the government said so. So um, within the Fukushima, the people are also divided. People who are uh, believe in the government and people who not. Very good. Arigato, Setsuko.